So what I'll show you guys how to do is I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a function. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I want you to go is just go with the function. Remember, functions are, are a special relationship. But if I was going to graph g of x equals 5x, and I was going to graph y equals 5x, those would produce the exact same graph. The only difference is my g of x is my output value, and this is my y is my output value. So the graph would look exactly the same, right? They have the same relationship or same rule, but the only difference is the output value. So I want you guys to understand functions have special relationships that we talk about. But a lot of times when we're graphing things, we like to use the y because we say y, we have the y-axis and the x-axis, right? But if you're to graph a function, it just now becomes the g of x axis and the x-axis. So they're very similar to each other. They just represent the output value. So if I'm going to tell you to find the inverse, I'm going to give you guys a couple steps. Step number one, replace your, in this case is g of x. It doesn't matter whatever your function name is. Replace g of x for y. Okay, So that's the first step. Just replace it. Step number one. I get everything. Yep, well, I mean, you're only going to have g, you're only going to have it once. So just replace it for y. Okay. Step number two. Swap your y and x variable. Step number two. Step number three. Step number three is solve for y. So if I wanted to get y by itself, I would just have to undo the multiplication of 5. Right? We're solving for y. And we usually like to write y equals, right? So that's step number three, solve for y. You guys can see this so far? Step number four. Then we replace y for g inverse of x. All right. So remember, what we're trying to do this whole process, the step-by-step -step process, is to find the inverse of a function. So the inverse of a function is denoted as your function name raised to the negative first power times x. All right. So therefore, we just say g of negative so inverse g of x equals x over 5. That's it.